taxes went up for the families in my district I represent, not down, and it's had a major impact on the cost of living in northern New Jersey and has sent a lot of people and jobs packing for other states, especially for the red states or moocher states that stuck us with the tax bill in 2017. Ooh, moocher states. You know, that's New Jersey Congressman Josh Gottheimer. He's usually a pretty good, clear thinker, but he's off track on this one. He's one of 30 coastal lawmakers, coastal, right, as is like New York on the east and California on the west. They want to remove the cap on state local tax deduction called SALT. It's a blue state tax. And people who live in the Midwest or the Sun Belt or any place besides the blue state don't really want this. Why should they have to pay for the tax hikes of New York, New Jersey, and California? Okay? Me? Get rid of the SALT deduction altogether. Cut tax rates and broaden the base. Somebody who knows a lot about this, Senator Marsha Blackburn from the great state of Tennessee, which has no income tax. Uh, Senator Blackburn, thank you again for coming on to the show. Uh, Josh Gottheimer's not a bad guy, but I think he's wrong. As do you think the SALT deduction is going to be restored? I have to tell you, Josh needs to kind of get over himself on this, <laughs> and he needs to, to he needs to go tell his local governments and his state governments to stop mooching off the hardworking taxpayer. That is what they have been doing for years in these big blue states. They have a huge appetite for the taxpayers' money, and Larry, they never get enough of it. And any time they get in a pinch, what are they they want to do. They hold their hand out. They absolutely have a disease. It is their hand out waiting for somebody to put some more money in it so they can go spend it on programs that people do not want and running up all this debt that people don't want to have to pay for. And people are voting with their feet. Look at what is happening. When you look at what has happened in Tennessee this year, we have so many people from New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, places that are moving to Tennessee because we are a low tax, light regulation, right to work state. And you know what? That's where people want to live. Yeah, you know, uh, I know Josh. My advice to Josh is to get his governor, Phil Murphy, to cut taxes instead of raising them. Yeah, I mean, actually, exactly. The Stop really, mooching. The bizarre part of it, and by the way, Murphy's a good guy. He's a very elegant guy, but his his yes. policies are just wrong. It's You're both right. New York and New Jersey are raising taxes, so they want the federal government. Let me get this right, Marsha Blackburn. They want the federal government to subsidize their tax hikes, right? Which, by the way, would benefit rich people. How ironic is that? Yeah, you know, the Democrats have always railed about the top 1% and wanting to go get the top 1% and make them pay more. Now, what are they doing? The SALT tax, who does it benefit? The top 1%. <laughs> and they are wanting to get rid of this. They're saying, oh, you can't do this. This has disadvantaged us. Well, you know what? There are states like Tennessee that, and Larry, you full well remember our battle over a state income tax. I fought that for four full years. And we won that fight. The people of Tennessee won that fight. We are a well managed state with a small state government. We have light regulations. We have a strong community network and wonderful county mayors. And one of the biggest problems they're having right now in Tennessee is dealing with the number of people that are trying to buy property and farms and come into the state because we have a lot of respect for hardworking taxpayers. Yes, ma'am. That's all I can say. Yes, ma'am. You're a spot on target. You got it. Senator Marsha Blackburn, <laughs> always thank you very, very much.